Kevin, often enough, and again, Kevin, I have the I have a high degree of respect for you, sir. I will say this, Kevin, often enough, I hear you say, uh, what value does uh, a woman and her kids bring to a high value man's life? And Kevin, one of the things I'm gonna have to say to you, sir, how about love, Kevin? How about a woman with well-behaved children who may not be a, a baby's mama, or even she may be a baby's mama, but a woman with well-behaved children. How about the uh, the value that she brings to the life of not just a high-valued man, Kevin, but a man, period. What she, what she and her children bring to the relationship is love. Now, Kevin, you, Duke, and Momia, I'm sure you'll say, well, a chick with no kids, a chick with no kids, and you can have your own kids with a chick that had no kids, she'll bring love to the relationship because you and her produce children together. And I'll say absolutely right, guys. I'll say you're absolutely right. However, love is love, sir. And for example, you take myself. I'm, see, I'm, now I'm personalizing this. I'm personalizing this. I'm, I'm, I'm personalizing this because it applies to me. I've been the kind of guy. I left my home in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, North Philly at the age of 18 to join the U.S. Marines and the other branches of the military that I later served in. And my, I lived the kind of life of a venture seeking fortune and fame in the arms of a beautiful woman wherever I went. That was the kind of lifestyle that I lived. And I only had one son, biologically, because I wasn't the type of guy who was irresponsible. I didn't want to be planting seeds all over the place. But what happens as you get older, gentlemen, all that shit don't mean nothing. The money, what you did, who you did it with, uh, what sorority or fraternity you belong to, how much money, none of that means nothing. At the end of the day, it's all about family, guys. It's all about family. It's all about being loved. It's all about not dying by yourself. Because none of that stuff means anything, guys. That stuff that you guys seem to place, because I, I realize, Kevin, that you guys place a lot of uh, a stock on material items. And there's nothing wrong with material I, I totally agree with you. You can't never have too much money. It's better to have more of it than less. It's better that, that you have it than some scumbag preacher or drug dealer have it. Money rates right up there with air. Can never have enough of it. But when you get older, like me, you sure you guys see all this gray in my beard. Man, listen. You get to a point where you'll trade that shit off for love. You know, you don't wanna you don't wanna be sitting in a house or sitting at some restaurant by yourself on Thanksgiving. It's love. You don't want to sit in a hospital room by yourself. You don't want to, you don't want the judge, not the judge guys, you don't want the nurse or the doctor to say to you, Mr. Samuels, Mr. O'Shea, Mr. Ali, who's coming to pick you up after your colonoscopy? Or, you land up in a hospital from a car accident or something. And the nurse walk up to you guys. Mr. Samuels, Mr. O'Shea, Mr. Ali. No visitors today? That's what those kids, that's the value, gentlemen, that those kids bring to a high value man or any man. So with that said, Kevin, 
Mr. and Mrs. Watkins, Mr. O'Shea, Mr. Ali, I'm done with it. Bam! Easy being a parent. It is not easy being a parent. Hey, so I got three sons, right? I got three sons. So they all come over to the house for, uh, you know, on my birthday. So my oldest son says to me, he says, Pop, he said, man, I'm a little short, so I didn't buy you a birthday present. I said, don't worry about it. My middle son, same bullshit. Well, listen, man, my car broke down, Dad, and I couldn't, you know, I couldn't get you a birthday present. My youngest son hit me with the same shit. Well, listen, Pop, man, my check don't come through to next week, and I got you, but I don't got nothing for you today. I said, well, you know what, guys? I said, don't worry about it, man. I said, I got a confession to make, man. I said, I never married y'all mom, man, years ago, because I didn't have enough money for the marriage license. So my older son said, what? My middle son said, my God. My youngest son said, Dad, do you know what that makes us? I said, yeah, and some cheap ones, too. <laughs> Hey Chuck. Bam. Bam.